guys so recently i finished watching all of attack on titan but before i get into this video i just want to say that i don't think attack on titan actually sucks most of it's pretty good actually there's just a few things that piss me off quite a bit i straight up think that armin should have died and it's not because i hate him i actually think he's one of the better characters in the series but it's because he made the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, I know it's an anime, it's not really known for being realistic. But how the fuck did he survive that in the first place? This guy literally survived getting burnt to a crisp and then falling from the height of a fucking skyscraper. Only to be fully healed by a fucking vaccine. What? Excuse me? I also think that his death would have been important for other people's character arcs. I mean, this bitch was more concerned about Eren's reaction rather than Armin actually getting burnt. She deserves to lose all her friends. And while it's still wrong, it would actually give Eren a reason to do his rumbling bullshit rather than the usual Please, my friends, stop me doing a genocide spiel. But I'll talk more about his shitty genocide plan later. But I think the biggest fucking bullshit is Annie. How did she go from this <laughs> to this shite? I am not buying that. Frankly, that kind of character change is absolute bollocks. So yeah, I think Armin and Erwin both should have died. And I think bringing back Armin was a fake out death and a massive fuck you to his resolve. I mean, where do I even start with this? Okay, I think this is the perfect place to start. You are taking the piss, right? You can't just say that, you fucking idiot. Like, I'm truly starting to believe that this family comment is the reason he started this genocide in the first place. Uh. And because of his stupid simping, he made some brain dead decisions. How did he even get the idea that his genocide plan was good? And he has the nerve to say that he didn't think Sasha and Hanji would die. Is he a fucking retard? What on earth did he think he was going to happen when he was going around destroying everything? And don't even get me started on that piece of shit flock. I mean, I don't even know what to say, man. Mikasa's lost her fucking head, man. I mean, the founding titan started all that hocus pocus crap. Like, oh my days, what's the point of that? I mean, what even is the point anymore when Simp Eren is basically a god now? Like, this guy can literally chat with people in their memories. What? And don't get me wrong here, I think the actual Grisha memory episode was fucking amazing. It was probably my favourite episode in the entire series. I'm usually a massive fan of episodes where characters are exploring a certain memory or dream. It kind of reminded me of the Mogami Keiji episode from Mob Psycho 100, which I highly recommend by the way. But, as soon as Simp Eren started manipulating Grisha, in his fucking memory, that's when I completely lost it. It was cause of some transcending time bullshit, and I'm not gonna lie, it made no sense to me at all. Anyways, unless you're Steinsgate, don't use any form of time travel in your story, cause that's like the catalyst for bullshit and plot holes. And speaking of Simp Eren going into people's memories and talking to them, what was the cabin scene about, huh? ヒストリア
それならもうあと4年の余生を静かに生きよう誰もいないところで2人だけで OK so this looks to me like Simp Aaron actually wanted to ditch everyone including Armin to die and we all know this bitch would fully go along with it but I'm beyond disappointed in Simp Aaron and then Simp Aaron has the nerve to talk to Armin in his memory if I found out someone did that to me I'd tell them to fuck off What is up with birds in this series man First we have Falco's hocus pocus crap and I don't even want to get into the ending scene man they are just taking the piss at this point Levi should have died by the end they basically did him dirty by not killing him off i mean this guy literally lost everyone he was close to by the end of the series and not only that they turned him into a fucking pedophile why okay this is not about the series but the fan base itself can you guys just leave gabby alone she's literally a brainwashed 12 year old and she changes for the better the fuck are you guys complaining about man people were literally getting mad at gabby for shooting simp aaron's head off which is fucking stupid cuz not only was the shot itself cold as fuck but it was in hindsight the right thing to do considering how aaron turned into a fucking mass murderer Anyways, that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Really enjoyed making this video. We'll see you in the next one.